Good morning, friend. Welcome back. My name is Becky. If you're new, today we are heading to the grocery store. We are celebrating Easter this weekend, and I just printed off all my recipes and got organized with a grocery list. The first thing I'm going to be doing is actually shopping my own pantry, refrigerator, and freezer. We were celebrating at my parents' house. We were supposed to be going grocery shopping with my mom this morning, but my mom's been out of town for a few weeks taking care of some family members and some things arose and she was supposed to be home already and we were supposed to be going shopping together today but unfortunately she had to push her trip back a little bit and so thanks for being here with me because now I still have company going grocery shop oh my goodness that would have been a disaster this is my bread flour I'm bringing to my mom's house so thank you for being here on this early morning this weekend so that we can go grocery shopping together and I'm not alone because I'm a little sad my mom is not here to go with me. So first thing is I'm gonna shop my refrigerator and freezers because I've got some things that I wanna use for this Easter dinner. And then we're gonna to go to my mom's house and do most of the prep. I was supposed to be doing most of the prep with my mom, but she is not here. So thank you again for being here with me. So I did pare back the menu I pulled a ton of stuff out of my freezer yesterday. So we're gonna be cooking up some really special things I got from a local farmer. And that is why I want to shop my refrigerator and freezers first. So I did change the recipes and the menu a little bit since it's just gonna be me. My sister and sister-in-law are also gonna be making a few more things than they were planning on making just to take some of the pressure off and so it's gonna be it's gonna be a good day see I have quite a few things that I want to use I created a little space in my refrigerator last night so that I wouldn't forget anything I created a list of things I needed to bring from my house but because it's so early I have not had any coffee yet I figured it would be good to just make a little spot in my refrigerator so I didn't forget anything. Okay, it's gonna take more than one trip to get all this in my car. Now I could have done all the meal prep at my house, but I figured it would be easier to do the meal prep at my mom's house. And I almost went grocery shopping yesterday, but then I thought, would it be easier just to get up really early, go grocery shopping on the way to my mom's house, do all the meal prep there so that I don't have to transfer all the food back and forth. And the only thing I'm transferring back and forth is myself. So that's what I went with. I thought that would be easiest. Make sure I have my wallet because that would be a disaster <laughs> if I showed up at the grocery store without a way to pay. Let's get this first load in the car. I still need to grab a couple things. Most importantly, my grocery list. I'm gonna take a picture of that right now. That helps so much. I don't like digital grocery lists. I like paper ones, but it does help having a picture in case I lose it. Some homemade cranberry juice. We're gonna make a punch with that. Apron straps. So my dad is gonna be there to help me. I don't know if he's gonna be helping me with the cooking, but he definitely wants to help me with the cleanup and all that and making sure the house is ready for me when I get there. My mom has been out of town for a few weeks. The reason we need to go grocery shopping is because I have, and I'm bringing stuff like bread flour to her house and buttered like staple things is, she's been out of town for so long, I don't know what kind of staple items are in the house. Okay, grocery list. Flour, recipes. I think I got everything. I just need to get some shoes on, grab some slippers. I think I wanna check the fridge one more time to make sure I didn't forget anything. First things first, I need to go run and pick up a coffee. I'm gonna treat myself to a coffee this morning and we're gonna to head to the grocery store, which I, I always like grocery shopping. So come on up with me. 
let's go have some fun at the grocery store and doing some meal prep. I figured before I leave for the day, I'm gonna turn this off for just a second, because I'm gonna be gone all day. I wanna just take a look at my seedlings, make sure nothing needs water. I did water them last night. Look how green it is in here. I did water them last night. I was going to go ahead and put all of my snapdragons outside if it wasn't gonna be raining, but I just checked the weather and it's supposed to rain. And I don't want these, because some of them don't have drainage holes in the bottom. I don't want them to be rained on outside because then I can't really regulate the temperature. Not temperature, but how much water they get if I'm gone all day. Everything is starting to sprout. Yesterday I did top off the tops of all my snapdragons. You can see how that is going to encourage branching. So I just cut the top off and it's gonna start producing branches everywhere where there are leaves. Here's a really good example. So there's branches coming from those areas and I did not top this one. So let me show you what I do. I just go like that. That's gonna encourage a stronger, shorter, stockier plant. That one I didn't top. Here's another example. I can go ahead and cut the top off that one and that one. So those are looking fantastic. I think I'm gonna actually be planting out my snapdragons this week. I've already been, here's a bunch of them. I've already been hardening them off, meaning I bring them outside, turning the fans back on. Gotta get air movement on here to have really strong plants to mimic wind. But I've already been bringing them outside to get them used to the actual sun. You can see how the fans mimic wind and make them dance. So that produces a stronger, healthier plant. As much as I would love to hang out in here all day, it's time to move on to other things for the day. I just got to the grocery store. I decided to come to Winco on my mom's side of town so that I didn't have to backtrack at all. And I wanna go through all of my recipes one last time before I head in. I think I'm gonna be able to get all my groceries here. Instead of going to a bunch of multiple different stores, I wanted to do one stop shop if I can. And what I wanna do is go through all my recipes. So we have a lemon poppy seed cake with lemon cream cheese frosting, and I'm gonna make homemade raspberry um, jam to go in the middle. I'm all out of raspberry jam. I went to go downstairs to get some raspberry jam and that was completely gone. And my sister-in-law requested that because we're gonna be celebrating my sister-in-law's birthday along with Easter. So making sure I have everything. So I'm just gonna go down each of the list. I'm assuming my mom has things like baking powder, baking soda, salt. My mom always keeps a good stocked pantry, but things like butter, I went ahead and brought butter from my house because I'm not sure if she's gonna have butter. Milk is one thing that I did not put on the list and I'm gonna go ahead and put some milk on the list because something like that, I would assume since she's been gone, I don't think my dad is probably buying milk. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put some milk on the list. Okay, did I put cream cheese on the list? Yes, I put cream cheese on the list. So my sister-in-law is going to be bringing beverages and another side. She's gonna be making roasted carrots. She's gonna serve it cold with a tahini dressing and herbs and it's gonna be so delicious. It's actually funny, we had the same, we were texting back and forth about what recipes so that we didn't double up on the same thing. And one of the recipes I have on my list is an easy asparagus tart. And she was gonna make an asparagus tart so it was a good thing that we kind of matched up on that so we didn't make the same thing. Did I put those things on this list? I was gonna make the puff pastry homemade, but that is something I am not gonna be making homemade anymore. Let's just see. I'm gonna need to get a couple things in the bulk section and I put a couple things down in the bulk section. Most of these recipes are brand new to me. The only recipe that I have made before is the potato recipe. So this is gonna be fun. I have one, two, three, four, five recipes. Yesterday when I was putting together my grocery list, I did mark what order we're gonna be cooking these recipes in. The goal is to do a bunch of the cooking today, but I am gonna do some cooking the day of the party. My coffee did warm me up a little bit, 
so I'm ready to go. I've got my grocery list in my purse. I've got a pencil in my purse so we can cross things off as we need. Let's head inside and get all of our groceries for today's party. I'm gonna bring my coffee in. I just had to stop and look at these fun little, oh, they have lilacs. These are my favorite flowers, or I should say one of them. Hydrangeas, I have a lot of favorites. I'm gonna be planting strawberries this week. What is in here? 10 plants. For 10 dollars that's actually a really good price. Delicious summer harvest. I'm looking to see if they're ever bearing, meaning they produce fruits all year long or all summer, or if they're June bearing, meaning they put one. Oh, so they have different varieties. I'm considering getting these actually because I need to be planting strawberries this, this coming week. This goes down to zone two, this variety, and this only goes down to zone four. They're both summer harvest time. I am gonna be buying some strawberry plants, but I was getting stressed out deciding which variety to go with, so I thought, you know what, let's just wait <laughs> and focus on what's at hand. So I'll probably be buying some strawberry plants this coming week to plant in the green stalks. Okay, I got my cart, let's get going. So the first thing I'm gonna be getting today is pretty standard and classic for Easter, is asparagus, and they've got a ton of it. So I think I need to get two bunches of asparagus for the tarts. We don't have a ton of people coming. It's mostly just immediate family for this party. So it's not gonna be as big as some of our other parties. So two bunches of asparagus should be enough along with the veggie side my sister-in-law is making. And then I'm right here next to some flowers. And I think I'm gonna pick up a few flowers for my mom because she's kind of had a little bit of a stressful last few weeks. And what colors do I think she would like the best? These ones are really pretty. I am drawn to these ones, the kind of purple, but I think my mom would rather like these kind of red colors. So I'm gonna get my mom one of these. I'll have these on her island for when she gets home, I think today or tomorrow. I'm picking up some berries to decorate the cake with. And while I was doing this, I decided that I think I'm gonna go ahead and make a fruit salad for the dinner as well. So I'm gonna grab a couple of these because I juiced all the ones that I bought and I just need a little bit for the fruit salad. I was going back and forth if I was gonna make the fruit salad, but I think I'm going to. So that means I need to go through the grocery store and decide what type of fruit I want to put in the fruit salad. And so my first thing I was drawn to was a pineapple because most people in my family like pineapple. This is not for the fruit salad. I just need these in my house because we're out. So I'm gonna grab some of those while we're here. They do have some mangoes, but these actually, I think these are not quite ripe enough and won't be before the party. So I'm gonna leave those. I rarely buy melons, so I'm not sure what to look for when it comes to trying to find a ripe melon, but I think that would be good in the fruit salad. You're supposed to smell it to know if it's ripe. Tap on it, let me know how you guys figure out what is a good melon. This one, I'm gonna go with the first one just because that's the one I'm gonna go with. I think there's going to be about 20 people, which is basically just my immediate family for the party. And so I did pare it back a little bit from what my mom and I were originally planning. Now for this fruit salad, we do need to make, oh no. For the fruit salad, I'm gonna make a salad dressing. It's my sister-in-law's recipe if they have fresh mint. Doesn't, I don't see any up there. So I'm gonna go ask the produce guy to see if they have any. They have it, he just showed me where it is and he said he just put it out this morning. Fantastic. Now the salad dressing on the fruit salad is not what you're thinking. It's not a savory salad dressing. It is a sweet one. That's what the lime and the mint is for. And the first time my sister-in-law made it, let me tell you, if you wanna elevate a fruit salad, make a salad dressing for it. I'll share with you the recipe, it is fantastic. Okay, so I just picked up way more things <laughs> than were on my list because I wasn't planning on doing the fruit salad and I got extra fruit to decorate the cake with, which I was planning on doing, I just forgot and I didn't put it on my list. So now what I'm gonna do is pull out my list and actually start crossing things off 
and then we need to go to the bulk section which is right here okay the only fresh produce i had on my list was asparagus and we got that plus we got some blackberries strawberries raspberries uh pineapple and a melon and mint mint was not going to be on my list you know what i should do on the back side here i'm going to write fruit salad so i don't forget that i'm going to be making it okay let's go to the bulk section next One thing I need is caraway seed. And I figured I should get that in the bulk section because I don't need to buy a huge supply of it. And I doubt my mom has it, but I am not seeing it in the bulk section. Oh, they've got more spices over here. These look like all different kinds of smoked paprika and powders. So they definitely have a lot more things here than they do at my Winco. But caraway is not one of the things I'm seeing. I will look for it in the regular spice aisle, but I could just leave it out. It's for the pork recipe. We're gonna be doing a stuffed pork loin. That's what I brought from the local har farmer is the pork. Okay, I need corn flakes, but not seasoned ones for the potatoes. I have two full pork loins that I brought from the hog that I got from the local farmer, and we're gonna stuff it with pork sausage and I needed the caraway for that, but I might just have to skip that. Then we need some cornflakes for the potatoes. For the hot cross buns, I need sultanas, which I think are a type of raisin but I don't see those I'm trying to decide if I'm going to get raisins or cranberries raisins are not everyone in my family's favorite so I could just leave them out of the hot cross buns or I was thinking I could substitute in craisins and maybe I mean then that wouldn't be very traditional I was going to say instead of doing the cinnamon I could do orange zest and kind of give it an orange flavor I've never made hot cross buns before, and that's something we're gonna be making. My sister made them last year. Hmm. Maybe I should do, I'm doing two pans, so maybe I should do one raisin cinnamon and one cranberry orange. Maybe I'll try that. My mom had the menu all planned out on her end and the grocery list and all that. And then she sent me pictures of it and I could tell that there were definitely recipes on there that we didn't talk about. And so I just paired it back a little bit and I don't know if she was planning on doing any sort of appetizer, but I'm just gonna skip that. I'm not gonna worry about it. We'll have plenty of food with just the main dinner. And I just added side so there's gonna be plenty so I don't need any sorts of meats and cheeses I do need oh that's not true I need a lot of cheese but not for an appetizer I was thinking like charcuterie I need appetizers or cheese for the potatoes and for the asparagus tart so back to the dairy aisle this cart is kind of unwieldy I probably should have grabbed a different one but I was kind of in a hurry just to keep going so you all know I normally shred my own cheese, but for the potatoes, I am not going to shred it. I'm going to buy it pre-shredded. How many cups is this? Eight cups. That should be, I think, enough. It's exactly what I need. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pick this up. I need Gruyere cheese for the asparagus. And here it is. I had to find it in my mom's. And I think I'm going to substitute with another cheese. I don't need a ton of milk, so I'm just going to grab one of these. I do need a lot of cream cheese. Oh, this is new. Tillamook has their own cream cheese now. I ah, will try it. I need four of these. Now, I don't know where everything is in my mom's Winco, so I'm looking for puff pastry. And I would think it would be by the fro, yes, here, it should be right in here, I think. I've got 
pies. There it is, right there. You know, I think I'm gonna go ahead. I'll wait. So last time we went grocery shopping, I talked about wanting to make baklava for Easter. And I was going to, but then we're doing this party and I'm gonna have some friends over on actual Easter. So we're celebrating Easter with my family early. And so I'm gonna do a whole Greek dinner for the friends that are coming over on actual Easter. And so I will make the baklava at that point. And I'm still deciding if I'm gonna make the phyllo dough from scratch or if I'm gonna buy it. I have been looking at recipes to see how complicated it would be to make phyllo dough myself. But then I also need it for two recipes I wanna make that day, so maybe I will buy it. I don't know, we'll see what I end up doing. But for today, we've got a lot of things checked off. I think I only have two more things I need to get. I'm trying to stay very, very focused and just come in and get the things I need. Let's see. Plus I got a few more. I still need to look for caraway and I need two more things. Speaking of trying to stay on task, I just randomly walked down the pet aisle to get to the other side of the store. And I think I'm gonna grab, oh yeah, my dog. My dog needs some new toys. So these are kind of fun, oh, kind of fun. So I'm gonna grab him couple new toys. Let's see, I've got a pig, a ball, and a, actually I kind of like the look of this pig better. Let's put this one back. Oh yeah, he won't be able to destroy that one as much. That is a much firmer pig. So we've got a ball, a bone, the ball and bone are squeakers, and a little chewy pig. And I worry if I get him these stuffies, they're just going to, he's gonna destroy them in no time. We'll start with these three. It's been a while since I bought him toys. He needs toys. All right, so they have their dried fruit section here. They might have sultanas in this area. I have never bought a sultana before. And I, honestly, I'm not exactly sure what it is. That looks interesting. Currant, prunes, cranberries, cranberries, raisins. I guess even if I wanted to get them, that would not have been an option. So I do need to get some powdered sugar. I know last time we were cooking at my mom's house, she bought some. Just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a bag. And if anything, I will be replenishing what we used, and I also need to get some quick rise yeast, which I completely forgot about that. And it was not on my list. I only have active dry, and the recipe for the hot cross buns calls for quick yeast. And my mom never has yeast in her house, so now she's gonna have some. I'll put that in her freezer, so next time we make bread, she's gonna have that. So now I need to look for caraway. Let's see, is it that important that I actually get a whole bottle? I don't know, let's look and see. I guess the main question would be, do they even have it? I would think so. Is it alphabetized? I think it is alphabetized. Let's see, chipotle, cinnamon, clove, cardamom, coriander, cream of tartar, cumin. It's not there. Friend, I am not seeing, you're probably seeing it. You probably say, Becky, it's right there. But I don't see it. These are all like spice blends over here, so I don't think it would be on this section. So I think even if I wanted to get it, I don't think they have it. My, I doubt my mom has it. She might have it. I, of course, will look in her spice aisle or her spice drawer. My mom doesn't have a whole aisle of spices at her house. She does have a very, very big drawer though. I'm glad I walked down this aisle and got that yeast because that is something I would have been sending my dad to the store for. And we did that last time. And so if I can get everything on the list, I would like to, 
yeah. I think I'm just gonna cross the caraway off because I don't, I, I don't think they have it. Okay, so now we're going to get the last item on the list. This wall of Campbell's soup <laughs> looks like it could be an art installation. And this is what I need for the potatoes. Cream of rice, I don't want that. I need cream of chicken. Can we find that? I do not want to buy the wrong thing because I have done that before. I think we'll just get this and we got cream of chicken, which is the correct one. I'm gonna make my aunt's potato recipe and I have tried making it with homemade cream of chicken. It does not taste the same. So we only have it about once or twice a year. And I like to make it just the way my aunt made it so that it tastes like my aunt's. All right, that is everything. Here is the grocery cart and now I'm gonna go ahead and get this loaded up and we are ready to head to my parents' house. And this is Winco, I think I already mentioned that where we are, but Winco is kind of like our equivalent of Aldi. We don't have Aldi, we have what is called Winco and it is only, I think, on the West Coast. I'm pretty sure it's in California, Washington, Oregon, and maybe Idaho. I might be wrong, it might be in a few more states. But it's kind of a small local-ish chain and you do get to bag your own groceries here and i grew up going to this grocery store with my mom my mom and i used to go grocery shopping about once a week together i'm the youngest of four and so usually really early in the morning on wednesdays my mom and i would go to winco and we would go to costco and then we would eat lunch at costco and i just have fond memories of shopping with my mom so i miss my mom on this grocery shopping day but i know that there will be more days where we will be able to go grocery shopping together so thanks again for hanging out with me as we picked up these groceries so i'm going to get them loaded up on the belt and then i will go ahead and bag them when i bag my groceries i do like to try to bag them in like things with like things but on this day i was kind of just throwing things in the bag because i knew that we were going to be using the majority of these goodies as soon as we got to my mom's house so as soon as we get to my mom's house i am going to unload all these groceries on the counter and then i'm going to hit the ground running starting to prep the food for the easter party and i did get a fun surprise someone did show up halfway through this cooking day and actually surprised me while i was doing all the cooking so that was kind of fun so you'll see who ends up surprising me because i think that i'm going to be doing all that cooking all by myself on this day so we're loaded up heading to the car Well, that was very successful. I believe I got everything we needed, plus maybe just a few extra things. And we were able to get in and out of there relatively quickly. It's still pretty early in the day. We still have a lot more to get to. I put all of the things that I brought from my house up in the front. Most importantly, some beautiful flowers. So I'm gonna put this right here because I parked right next to the cart corral. I love when I get a spot next to it. It's my mom's trick. And then now we're gonna head to my mom's house. I'll show you everything I got, plus what I brought from my house to make this entire Easter feast come together. This is the reason I thought it would be easier to just do all the cooking here so that I'm not bringing all these groceries to my house, doing all the cooking, and then having to bring all of the food here. We're just gonna bring it all here, do it all here, leave it here. It feels kind of sad coming in here and nobody being here. My dad will be here a little bit later. He did ask if there was anything he could do to get the house ready for me coming and cooking. And the only thing I said was it would be helpful if the dishwasher was unloaded so I could load dishes as I cooked. And it looks like he was able to do that for me, which is fantastic. We were originally going to do the shopping today and then my mom and I were going to do the cooking tomorrow and then we were gonna have the party the following day. But because my mom is not gonna be in town until tomorrow evening, I think as long as everything goes to plan, it just didn't work out that way. And so for my dad, he is going to kind of come out behind me after I clean and he's gonna get the house all cleaned, plus I'll clean up when I'm done cooking, but he'll make sure that he gets the deep clean done on the house. So it actually works better for him. If I do the cooking today, he can do the cleaning tomorrow. And then my mom will be back in town. She won't have to worry about cleaning. And then we can actually have the party. Okay, so let me get everything unloaded.
And I'm gonna be using the majority of all these things today. So I think I'm just going to unload. I need this puff pastry to thaw a little bit. Some of the stuff I'm not gonna to use today because I will be actually making it the day of the party, like the frosting. I'm gonna make that, I think the day of the party. The dog toys can go right back into my car because those are dog toys for my dogs. I'll put that over there. Same with bananas. I'm gonna go stick those back in my car because knowing me, that can easily be forgotten. It's kind of warm in here. I'm gonna take this off. My dad likes a warm house. Oh no! I just spilled open those raspberries. I think I'm gonna use a lot of these raspberries to actually decorate the cake with. One thing I've been enjoying more and more lately is oh shoot, I just smashed a raspberry on the floor, is decorating cakes. And so I've been having kind of fun with it versus I used to think it was kind of stressful. My mom has always been the cake decorator in our house and she always does a fantastic job. Ah. But the last few parties I've been making cakes and I've been having fun with it. So the more confident I get in it, the more I've been enjoying it. Just putting my apron on before I even get started. Roll my sleeves up a little bit. Let's keep unpacking this. I can see my mom's cactus needs water. I'm gonna go ahead and give this beautiful cactus a little drink of water. I think I'm just gonna set this cactus right here, give it some water, let it drain while I finish unpacking this stuff. I have the haul all laid out and I'm gonna go through the menu and what I brought from my house versus what I picked up at the grocery store so you can have a full picture of what this Easter feast is going to be. Now I don't know exactly what my sister is bringing. I know what my sister-in-law is bringing. She's bringing drinks and some vegetables. So I'm assuming my other sister is probably gonna be bringing some other side dish and probably sourdough, but she is pretty pregnant with two young kids, so if she doesn't end up bringing anything, we will have enough if she just needs to relax and come over and enjoy a meal where she doesn't need to do any cooking. The first thing I have here that I brought are two pretty good size pork loins that are boneless, and we're gonna be stuffing those with pork sausage, wrapping it in bacon, and I just realized I did forget something, shoot. I didn't even have it on my grocery list, and I know my mom had it on her grocery list, and that is breadcrumbs for the stuffing. So let's see what my mom has. She does have Ritz crackers and she's not gonna have any bread because she has not been here. And I don't think, I'm in my mom's pantry. I don't think my dad, shoot. I don't think my dad would have bought bread. Darn it. Oh man. Um, well, I might be texting my dad and asking him to pick that up on the way here. <laughs> Okay, so we are gonna be having pork loin stuffed with sausage and we don't have the caraway seed either, which will be fine. We are gonna be making the lemon poppy seed cake and I just juiced a bunch of fresh lemons. I also had one lemon that we're gonna need for the zest. I zested all the lemons that I juiced, but they're still in the freeze dryer. Cranberry juice to make a punch, lots of butter, potatoes, frozen hash browns for the cheesy potatoes oranges for the bread, Dijon mustard. I'm gonna leave this with my mom. That's some homemade Dijon mustard. Sour cream for the potatoes, Parmesan cheese for the asparagus tart, poppy seeds for the cake, bacon to wrap the pork in, my farm fresh eggs, because my girls are laying again, bread flour for the hot cross buns. And I did decide I am gonna make two versions. I'm going to make a orange cranberry hot cross bun and a raisin cinnamon hot cross bun. 
and that is why I bought the yeast. So basically from here over is what I brought from my house. And then we're gonna make some homemade raspberry jam for the cake, creamy cream of chicken soup for the potatoes, yeast for the rolls. The lime and mint is for the fruit salad dressing. It's a honey mint lime dressing. And that's why I got fruit. So in the fruit salad, I'm gonna put cantaloupe, pineapple, strawberries, and then I'm gonna decorate the cake with these. So whatever we have left over, I will put the blackberries and raspberries in with the fruit salad. But I think the raspberries are all gonna be for decorating the cake. Powdered sugar for frosting, asparagus for our asparagus tart, milk um, because we need it. And I don't remember everything we need it for, but I just got a little one because I don't think we need a lot of it. Cheese for the potatoes. This is for the asparagus dish. I have never seen Tillamook cream cheese. It says it's new, so we figured I would give that a try. We are going to only need this for the cream cheese frosting. Then the recipe for the asparagus tart only called for Gruyere cheese, but the this is kind of pricey for how much cheese we needed. So I thought I would go ahead and supplement with a little bit of cheddar cheese as well. And this is a pretty sharp cheddar cheese, so I think that those two will go well together. Topping for our cheesy potatoes, raisins, and cranberries for our rolls. And that is the grocery haul. So if you're new, please consider subscribing because what I'm gonna do right now is preheat the oven and I'm going to make the cake first. And then we are going to be prepping all of this food. I need 350, I'm assuming. Because the next thing I'm gonna share with you is the entire Easter feast from start to finish. What I'm doing this afternoon is going to be prepping probably 80% of the food. And then on the day of the party, we will finish cooking it up. Hopefully my mom will be here and we will enjoy a feast together. If you are returning, thank you for coming back. You mean the world to me. Time is the most precious thing we have. And the fact that you take time out of your day to spend time with me is a huge honor. So thank you for inviting me into your home. Thank you for coming along the journey. If you want to see more of my videos, I can pop them here. You can go enjoy between now and my next upload. I hope you are having a fantastic day and I cannot wait to see you next time. Bye friend.